first movement, toe line step, right foot forward, and go. Something we want to focus on throughout each movement is staying balanced. Our breathing, we want to have in sync with our body movements. So I want you to think of when you're exerting energy or going into a stretch, you want to exhale. You then want to inhale as we're going through the transition to rest periods. So this is 30 seconds. We're now going to start scooping at the front. Forward and scoop. As we do this, we're scooping back with our palms up. Trying to keep our spine somewhat neutral, not hunching to bend over. Good, five seconds. Good, let's switch legs now. Left leg forward and go. Stay nice and balanced. And a good athletic squat as well. No straight legs. Good, and now we're going to start going into the scoop. And now, scooping backwards. Once again, you can go at your own pace. You go nice and slow. Main thing, we want to stay stabilized throughout every movement. Good, and relax. Next one is a standing hip thrust. So our feet are going to be parallel. We're going to go into a nice squat. We're going to have our hands together, and we're going to thrust forward, right? Squat, thrust forward. Coming onto our toes as we thrust up. And go, one minute. Exhaling as we're exerting energy, thrusting up. Inhaling through the transition. Nice and balanced throughout the whole movement. Throughout the whole movement as well. Good. Nice. Relax. All right. Here we're going to standing sprawl. So we're going to go two minutes, one minute with each leg forward. So right legs forward first. We're going to step back and reach. And forward. Step back and reach. And reach. If you can only go to here, that's okay. We want to focus on the stability. And we're going to get a little stretch, active stretch in the hamstring. Ideally, we want to be able to touch our hand on the ground. This hand is like a down block. Somebody's sprawling on us. All these movements that we're doing have a correlation to jiu-jitsu. One thing that will help with keeping yourself stabilized on one foot is keeping weight on your big toe and the inside of your foot. Good, last one here, we're gonna switch legs. Good, and switch. Left leg forward now. Forward legs going back first. Right. And 
as we breathe, depending on the pace, we're going to be breathing faster if our body's going faster. If we're going slow, we're able to slow the breath down a little bit. But all the while, trying to maintain the correlation between as we exert energy, we're exhaling through the transitions, we're inhaling. Good. Keeping a nice athletic stance the whole time. No straight knees. Good, last one. Beautiful. <clears throat> now we're going into a standing arm drag. So our feet are gonna start parallel. We're gonna step out to the side as we pull across our body, looking away and back, right? So we're stepping out with the left first, using our right arm to pull across, looking over our right, balanced on the left knee, Right foot's up and back. All right, one minute. Let's go. We go nice and slow. As we pull, we want to pull our elbow back like we're doing a lat pull. All the while, staying nice and stable in our left leg. Breathing the whole time. The reason we do movements on both sides so we can build that body coordination in our body. All of us, we have our dominant side. We need to be able to strengthen the weaker or less used side. Go ahead, last one. Now switch. So. We're stepping out with the right, pulling across with our left, looking over the left shoulder and back. Step out with the right, pull across with the left and go, one minute. This is simulating an arm drag often used in jiu-jitsu and wrestling, many different variations of the arm drag. One thing we're trying to do is get to our opponent's back to start attacking. Exhaling as we exert energy, inhaling through the transitions. Nice and balanced throughout. Good, last one. Awesome. All right, guys, next one. We're going to go from standing to our knees, back up to standing with no hands. How it's going to work, we're going to drop one knee, right knee first. Left knee down. Now we're going to flare our legs. Right knee up. Stand up. And again. Right down. Left down. Flare the hips open. And up. Here we go. One minute. Let's alternate sides. So now we're going to go down with the left. Left. Right. Up with the left. Left. Right. Up with the left. Right. Now we can alternate. And then comfortable with both sides. When we're doing this, we want to go nice and controlled as we go down to one knee. Protect our knees as we go down. Strong stand up as we stand up. And you can switch off going back and forth or do a couple on one side, a couple on the other. But once again, we're working on the body coordination of being able to do both sides comfortably. Almost done. Good, last one, nice. Let's end on our knees. So now 
That's it for standing. We're gonna go to what is in a top mount or turtle position in jujitsu, but we're just on our knees. First one, we're gonna have our hands closed, elbows and forearms on the ground. And we're gonna work on opening up the shoulders and chest. So we're gonna drop one shoulder at a time. Good. And the other side. For one minute, going back and forth. This is a good shoulder and chest exercise, just opening them up. But it's also, in reference to jujitsu, practicing being able to use our shoulder pressure on our opponents so we feel much heavier. And it's had a nice taste. Exhaling as we go into the stretch, inhaling through the transition. Good, coming up on the last one. All right, now we're gonna go into a, what we call a side mount tripod. So our forearms and hands are gonna stay on the ground. We're gonna plant on our feet. They're not pointed anymore. They're gonna be flexed. And we're gonna raise our feet, our hips in the air until our legs are ideally straight and back down. This is a tripod and we can switch, going for one minute, switching our head from one side of our hands to the other. Going back and forth. If you can't go to your legs all the way straight, that's okay. Just elevate a little bit. Lift the knees off the ground. Going back and forth. Two more. Nice and relax. Good. Next one, we're opening up the hips a little bit. So we're still in a turtle or a side mount position. We're gonna lift one leg at a time. Foot flat, ideally, knee up and back down. And alternate and lift. We wanna keep our head over the center line of our hands and down. We should feel a nice stretch in the hip. We can sit back on that hip and back. Work in the hip mobility. If you're doing anything that feels uncomfortable, you want to stay in a pain-free range of motion. Also paying attention to what's going on in the rest of our body. So right now we're doing a lot of lower body movements. But we want to see what's going on with our upper body during this time. So if your hands are feeling stiff or achy, try to relax them. We want to be nice and relaxed. Okay, good. Now we're going to sit through. So we're adding on to this. So we're going to post their knee. Now we're going to sit through here. Good. And back. The turtle. Post the leg. We're doing a turtle sit through. And back. One minute. When we do this, let's actually look up to the sky. And back. Look up to the sky. And back. Good work. 
do so. Movements from the seated guard. In Jiu Jitsu seated guard. So one thing to focus on to have a strong seated guard position. We want, if there's a vertical line, we want our shoulders and head in front of our hips versus behind our hips where we have to engage our core more. We wanna keep them in front, okay? So this first movement is gonna be a hollow body roll. We wanna try and keep our knees and chest close to one another. We're gonna tuck our chin and we're just gonna roll the kind of a back and forth, loosening up the spine. Let's focus on the exhale as we're rolling. Good. Now we're gonna use one leg as a pendulum leg. It's gonna help create movement, also get a nice stretch in the hamstring. So, left leg's gonna be bent, right leg's gonna be straight. We're gonna roll back. As we come up, we're gonna use that leg to help create momentum sitting up. Good, now let's switch and go with the left leg. Do one more on the left. Now we're gonna alternate. Using that pendulum leg as we come up to create momentum. Good. Feels nice loosening up the spine. Engaging our core as we come up as well. Good, last one here. to a staggered butt scoot with our feet together. So we're in seated guard, we're just gonna shift to one side. Our feet are gonna stay together. Our hand is gonna be our face guard hand. So as we move, I want elbow above your hand and both above your head, right? This is our face guard. So we're gonna scoot with our right hand forward and back and switch sides, left hand now, forward and back. For one minute, switching back and forth. Something important to remember when we're putting weight into our hands, we want to make sure that the weight is distributed evenly between all five of our fingers and wrist. It's common to have weight all on our wrist and it's gonna start causing some pain. So let's try to distribute that weight evenly. Okay, the last one's here. Nice, so now instead of butt scooting forward and backward, we're gonna do an arm drag, but from the seated guard. So we're gonna post our left hand, we're gonna pull across with our right, and we're gonna shift here. Then we're gonna post with our right, and pull across with our left. Good, and we're going back and forth. Good, nice. Once again, in a strong seated guard, we're keeping our head and shoulders in front of our hips. This is gonna make it much easier to move around and transition while we're on our butts, as well as when we start progressing into different movements where we're sitting and standing and rolling around. Exhaling as we Exert energy and pull. Inhale through the transition. Good. 
Do that last one. It's coming up here. Last one. Good. And relax. All right, let's go into a three-way hip mobility. So we'll start in seated guard again. We're going to drop both our knees to one side. And we're going to look over that side. Right here. Looking over the shoulder. When we come back and rotate to the other side. And we're here going back and forth. Dropping both knees to the ground if possible. Once again, as we go through this transition, our head, shoulders want to stay in front of our hips. It's going to make it a much smoother transition. One way to make this movement a little more difficult is to go no hands. Good. Second movement now, as we jump our knees to the right, we're gonna use our hand and we're gonna sit up, driving the hip forward, good. And rotate to the other side, and drive. So make it more difficult, you got no hands. Now we're dropping to the left. We're gonna lean over our knee, rotate to the foot, back to the knee, and shift. Bringing the chest over the knee, rotating to the foot, back to the knee. Once again, exhaling as we go into the stretch. Inhaling through the transition. To seated guard. All right. Now we're doing a forward technical stand-up. All right. So we're going to tuck our left foot first, plant our left hand, drive forward, hips going forward and back. Seated guard. Tuck our right, plant the hand, and shift. We're going back and forth for one minute. Keep the head in front of the hips. Good. Now we're going to continue from this. We're going to come up and we're going to stand all the way up. So we're going to flare open their knee, have our foot flexed. We stand up, reverse mechanics, reverse lunge. We're going to tuck the foot and sit down. Rotate to the other side. And we're up. Open it up. Stand. And down. Good, let's go. Alternating side. Side your knees or anything, use your hands, provides a little more support. And the last one here, we're gonna end sitting. Good, now it's gonna do a self defense stand up. We're gonna break it into two, uh, two parts. So, seated guard again, we're gonna move to one side, we're gonna have our face guard, and we're gonna lift on the opposite foot and hand and rotate. Other side, right hand, left foot and rotate. Left hand, right foot. Going back and forth.
Good, now we're gonna combine parts two and three of, this, of the self-defense stand-up. So part one, we lift. Part two, we're gonna lift, shift forward, extending our legs, okay? Part three is the stand-up. We're gonna combine two and three. So we lift, we shift, bring the leg through, facing 90 degrees. Reverse mechanics going down. We plant the hand and we land in part one and down. Switch. We're gonna lift, shift, and stand. Reverse mechanics, and right here, and go. Good, last one, we're gonna finish standing up. Good, now we're gonna do what we call a break fall. This is learning how to fall the proper way. I'm not gonna give the details, but we're gonna get into it. Three, three main points just to think about. As we fall, legs out in front, head up, chin tucked so we don't hit our hand and our arms or help embrace the fall. As we stand up now, we come up to seated guard. We can either do the forward technical stand up here or self-defense stand up and we're here all right you have either option we're switching sides let's go good you pick what side you want to do you know, either one you want so forward stand up or self-defense stand up Nice, this one we're gonna stay on our backs. Right here, okay. Now we're going from a bottom mount position, so we're gonna do straight bridges, okay? But I want you to focus on keeping elbows by your side, right? And we're just bridging straight up, going for one minute, and go. I want you to focus on knee, hip, and shoulder, all in one line, squeezing your glutes at the top. Exhaling as we exert energy, inhaling through the transitions. Now we're gonna do what we call jujitsu bridge. So we're still remember the same bridging movement, but we're gonna open up one knee, keep our elbow by our side. We're bridging and looking over that shoulder. Good. Now we're switching sides. When we're going over our right shoulder, the power is coming from our left leg. When I go over the left, power is in my right leg. Big reach over our shoulder. The last one. Nice. All right, let's finish up with some core. So, this is called leg pummeling. So, our right leg is going to be going in one direction clockwise, our left leg is going to be going counterclockwise. 
We want to get the body coordination on point so that our feet aren't hitting each other. We want to be getting our hips, knees, and feet involved in big circles. We're focusing on our neck as well, strengthening our neck. We can keep our neck off the ground. Let's try and look up into the ceiling so we're not tucking our chin. We want to have a neutral neck. You can have it on the ground if you'd like as well. Good, and switch directions. Left leg's now going clockwise, right leg's going counterclockwise. Working on the body coordination, hip mobility. Not forgetting to breathe. Good, and relax. Two more exercises. Here we go, Kimura sit up, elbow by the side. We're gonna sit up, attach the left elbow to the right knee. And back, good switch. Right elbow to left knee. Good, last one. Nice. All right, now we got our legs in closed guard, feet above the knees. We're gonna lower our feet to the ground, touch our bottom heel, and back up. Everything's coming from the hips. We're not bending our knees. We're lowering from the hips. Good. Nice, and let's switch. Now left over right. Good, and relax. Last exercise right here. We're gonna do hip twists. So, I close our, plant our hands here. We're gonna hit from one side to the other. Hips up. One side to the other, last one. Almost done. Awesome guys. So that was a 30 minute jujitsu flow workout. Um, ideally you wanna do each, each movement for one minute, but if you like the, the workout, um, please subscribe to the channel, give me a like. I appreciate everybody that made it through. Sophia, awesome job. Um, what else, jujitsu flow. Instagram, website, uh, go check it out. Hope you guys enjoyed.